Hello, welcome to Free Cards Electromagnetics Workbench Tutorial by Fastfield Solvers. The workbench is in beta development stage and at present support the popular inductance solvers Fast Henry. So let's activate the uh, workbench that you should have installed as per instructions. That's the last one in my list here, EM. So as soon as we activate the workbench, we got uh, some icons appearing in the toolbar. Let's start from the first one, which is a Fast Henry solver object. So let's create this uh, FH solver object that contains some properties which are related to the fast Henry simulation. So you must be proficient with fast Henry to understand what they mean. Uh, anyway, the first parameter, the first property is straightforward. That's the file name of the fast Henry file we created uh, based on our geometry. Then we have some parameters following which are actually related to the uh, electromagnetic characteristics of the uh, structure. First one is the conductivity of the structure, sigma, then we have units of measurements, uh, maximum minimum frequency, and so on and so forth. So let's keep the default values for the time being. Let's start describing our geometry. Our goal here is to calculate the inductance of a square loop. And so let's start by positioning some nodes. The nodes are actually uh, positioned in space. Uh, defined in fast Henry for connecting the conductive segments. So we have a, an object here. Uh, this is an, a fast Henry node and creates a node object from scratch or from a selected object. So the base of the object can be a point or we can uh, design a node straight away. So let's click on the object here. Then we need to select the point. So, oh, okay, don't be too picky, but we'll replace the point anyway. We can even correct the positioning on the menu so if you want to type in or just use the, the, the screen for positioning the node so for the time being let's place a node here for instance okay then we need a second point to define a uh, segment so let's place a second point let's say here okay then we you see we have both points that have a based uh, object that gives the position of the node the one for the other. So if we open uh, up uh, the menu here, you can see those two points behind the first Henry node. Then we can select both nodes and create a segment between them. Okay, the segment has some default parameters like the height and the width. Uh, then you can see clicking on the object. So a certain height, certain width. Okay, and the length of course is determined by the distance between the two nodes. Okay, so let's now Move a bit here. Uh, okay, you may also notice that behind the fast Henry segment, we have, or below, we have the two nodes here that are highlighted in red, or colored in red. Uh, so if you want to add one other segment, let's create another node here. Okay, and then we can okay, select both nodes and create another segment. Okay, so you see our square loop is taking, is taking shape. Okay, now let's do it again. Let's create another node. Okay, here, select both and connect with the segment. Then we need the last one. Last one, we place a node here. Just close to the other. Okay, let's say in this position. And select both and create a segment. Okay, now of course this is not a very nice uh, looking loop because it's a bit uh, somehow tilted. Uh, okay, we can correct the position. So there's something you may notice here that we uh, select the node since the node is behind the segments that are connected uh, to the node. So there are, there are the same instance of the node actually. It's just the reference to the node, which is repeated twice for both the segments. So if you change the position of this point, you will see that both segments will adjust. So uh, you don't need to move the segments uh, even after you move the node and the segment will follow. So let's say, let's, let's fix for instance minus 5 instead of 4 and let's say as a y parameter we have 1. So you may see that we have now adjusted the position of the segments. Let's do it also for the other one. So let's select this point. Let's open the base point. So this is minus 5 again. You see in real time and minus 2. Okay, so we have now if you want a better looking kind of shape. Okay, the select last point here. So 
So that's, let's say this is uh, zero, this is minus two, and that, let's say zero, okay. And then the last one, okay, we you know the last one, we will act on the first one. So let's say x is zero, y is one, okay. And here, the last point, x is zero, and y, let's say zero again, and so that's in the origin, okay. And you see that now our loop is, uh, is complete, okay. Now we have to define a part, okay, because here we have all the segments, okay, there are four segments, one, two, three, and four, and now we need to define an electromagnetic part. So let's again proceed as we did before. So let's select one node. The first node, node you select is the positive, uh, the positive uh, node of the port. The second point is the negative. Let's create the port with the with the arrow. Okay. Uh, so this will create this small arrow that signals actually uh, that we have a port here. And you can see here that under the port we have node one and node four. Okay. So now we are all set for uh, starting the export of our uh, structure. Okay, so let's uh, click on this uh, last icon that's export and creates a custom we input file. So let's click on the button. It says, okay, on the fly, we created the fast we file in users, uh, repo that my name, documents, fast we input file in. So finish the export. So let's now try to make a simulation over that file. So we have here fast we open. So we run the simulation over that file, and here we are. Okay, we are under documents, past then we input file. Let's keep everything default and run the simulation. Okay, done. So you see here the result for the square loop. So what we could do that now is to try to simulate something else. Okay, if you want to change the shape, because we want to know, understand what happened if, if we just, uh, I don't know, enlarge the loop, so we could change some parameter. That's quite simple because again, we can select the node, uh, okay, and then with the node selected, we can change something, sorry, wrong move, uh, on the base point, let's say minus six, for instance, instead of minus five, so we make a, a loop which is a bit different here. So again, we can uh, change this node, which is this one, Okay, and select the point, that's minus six. Minus six, okay. And that's, uh, okay, you can see that we change the shape of our, uh, of our uh, square loop, so we can create again the file. And you will see that here we have an error, because the file name already exists, so I did it on purpose. So we kept the same file name, so now, um, so FreeCAD is telling us that we made a mistake. So we can change the file name here. Okay, so change the file name. We can now export the object. Okay, so now we can run another simulation. And the file this is not input file. Imp is input file 2. Imp. So let's run the simulation and see that now the inductance value has changed. So now we have 5.1 nano Henry and before we had 4.4 nano Henry. And so the result changed accordingly. If you want to check also the geometrical description, the input file, let's open in fast model. So here we can open the file in fast model. Okay, so let's open the input file here. Okay, you can see that here we have actually the same structure we created. Okay, so it's the same structure we created in fast uh, in in uh, FreeCAD, and that's the input file that FreeCAD created. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. See you soon with further updates.